Tonight on O Entertainment, what favorite celeb couple is expecting twins? Did Rob Kardashian and Black China call it quits? We have your latest celebrity gossip, our fashion hit or miss, and more right here on O Entertainment. Welcome to this week's edition of O Entertainment. I'm Alexandra Melendez. And I'm Daniel Rung. Let's kick off tonight's show with some of this week's most talked about celebrity news and gossip. Country star Thomas Rhett and his wife Lauren Atkins are adopting a child and having one. Last Wednesday, they both took to social media to share the news that they are pregnant and adopting. After years of trying to become pregnant and not having any success, the couple decided to adopt a child from Africa. A month after they learned that they could successfully adopt, Lauren found out that she was pregnant. The lovebirds gathered their closest family and friends for an impromptu gender reveal. The cake was decorated with pink and blue frosting, and when Thomas cut it open, the inside was pink. They're having a baby girl. Lauren captioned her Instagram video of the reveal with, quote, Sorry our family is nuts, but we're having a baby girl, end quote. We are so happy for this couple. Beyonce announcing her pregnancy earlier this month caused the world to stop spinning on its axis for a moment. The announcement has been one of the most exciting bits of news this year. While waiting for mini, the mini Hollywood royals to arrive, bits of news about Beyonce's pregnancy have been revealed. Her pregnancy has been a long time coming. Bay and Jay have been hoping to get pregnant after the conclusion of her Formation World Tour that ended last year. Bay considers it a miracle pr pregnancy because it has not been very easy to conceive this time around. Despite some morning sickness, Bay has continued to perform and is scheduled, uh, and sources say the singer still plans on performing at the massive Coachella Music Festival in April. We cannot wait for these twins to enter the world come this summer. Rob Kardashian and Black China have broken up again. The stars of Rob and China are no longer living together after a long pattern of breaking up and getting back together. They got engaged last year and share a three-month-old daughter, Dream Kardashian. Their first breakup occurred in December when they were seen back together. They were seen then seen back together on New Year's Eve. Then China took their child, Dream, and left Rob because he had become lazy, fat, and insecure. China said that she would give him one year to get his crap together. Then the couple then celebrated their one-year anniversary together a month ago. But since then, China has been seen ringless, and Rob says that he is focusing a lot more on himself, his baby, and his work. We can't predict the future, but we are sure that this couple will be back together soon. Last summer, Disney announced that a remake of the classic movie, The Little Mermaid, was being considered. Well, last Saturday, one former Disney star announced her interest in playing the lead. The actress, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan, whose movie debut was in the Disney film The Parent Trap, announced her interest on Instagram with a picture of herself and the animated Princess Ariel. She gave the picture with the caption, I will sing again, as hashtag Ariel, hashtag The Little Mermaid, at Disney. A proof that hashtag Bill Condon directs it, along with my sister, at Aliana Music, singing the theme song for the soundtrack. At this time, a possible Little Mermaid reboot is still in the very early stages in planning, and very few details are currently available. It's nice to see that Lohan hopes to return to her career roots. It's been almost six months since Brad Pitt and Angelo Angelina Jolie announced that they are getting divorced. This past Saturday, Jolie made her first public appearance since the news. The event was a screening of her upcoming film, First They Killed My Father, which she co-wrote, produced, and directed. Jolie stated about the film, quote, this film was not made to focus on the horrors of the past, but to celebrate the resilience, kindness, and talent of the Cambodian people, end quote. But she didn't arrive at the event alone. She brought all of her kids and her and Brad Pitt's children. Her oldest son, Maddox, addressed those present at the screening, saying, We finally made it. It's a great honor to present this film to all of you and to stand by my mother and my family. While this marked Jolie's first public appearance since the divorce news, Pitt has made several appearances at events for the critically acclaimed drama Moonlight, the spy drama Allied, and the 74th Golden Globe Awards. A custody agreement for Pitt and Jolie's children is still in progress. There has been a baby born for members of the Today Show. After giving birth, Savannah Guthrie is set to return to the Today Show next week after being on hiatus for three months. The 45-year-old co-anchor of the NBC show has begun her hiatus on December 5th and had days later given birth to her second child, a baby boy named Charlie. 
In an Instagram post, she stated, quote, Hey, little one, you're not the only good reason to wake up early. I'm headed back to the Today Show March 3rd. Excited to see you all, unquote. Soon after Gunthrie gave birth, the Today Show meteorologist Dylan Dryers went on, and a week later, baby boy Calvin. On top of that, the Today Show host announced on the series via phone that she had recently daughter Haley Joy. Copby had been w away from the show for a while and plans to take some more time off to care for and bond with her baby. Congrats to all the new moms. Demi Lovato isn't worried about watching her MMA fighter boyfriend hop in the ring. The singer has confirmed she is dating Gathurme Bomba Vasconcelos after she was spotted at the Bellador 170 rocking his team shirt as she watched him in the MMA fight. And to top it off, they continued by showing some PDA. Earlier this week, she shared an Instagram post with him referring to him as Bay. Now she's finally opening up, opening up a bit more in depth about what it's like dating a fighter. Lovato appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show on Wednesday and admitted she gets a little nervous watching him fight, but she doesn't ever worry about his opponent. Ellen said, quote, and you should feel bad for the person he's hurting, unquote. To, watch Lovato, to which Lovato quickly responded, quote, I don't feel bad, nope, it's a sport, unquote. Lovato promises her man is still very sweet. Coming up, we discuss the latest in hot topics. All this after the break. Neighbors and best friends. I love my sister. My heart, my heart does a sea race. race. Love, love is love. Our family is no less than any other family. Don't wait. Communicate. Make your emergency plan today. Welcome back. Here with us is Carrie Ann Balness, our Hot Topics expert. So what's hot this week, Carrie Ann? <laughs> <laughs> well, Beyonce and Jay-Z's pregnancy news has not only taken Hollywood by storm in the best way possible, but also their marriage. The couple has had problems in the past, but now their issues are resolved due to the announcement of their soon-to-be twins. They have, always wanted a, they have always wanted a big family, and this will be the perfect addition for them. So, is the marriage really back on track, or are the twins coming just to help their marriage? It depends. Is Lemonade really based on Jay-Z? We'll never know these answers. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> we don't really know the details of their marriage, but I mean, if they're really excited and they've been wanting to expand their family, because it seems like they've been having a lot of trouble conceiving, mm -hmm. then, I mean, good for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think anybody, like, purposely has a baby to, like, try to save a marriage anymore. Like, I feel like that's, like, a very old time thinking. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, like, th someone will have a baby to, like, trap someone into something, but, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think she's, she, she, there's no need for her to do that. So mm -hmm. I don't see, like, Do you her think it's, like, a responsible, like, decision, just, like, being like, oh, well, we're not on the best of terms, but let's go for it anyway. I mean, it, 
we don't actually know if mm -hmm. this pregnancy was like necessarily planned or not, you know? So I feel like maybe they're just trying to make their marriage work anyway, and then bam, now she's pregnant with twins, which was like a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you never really know like what's actually happening behind closed doors, and I'm excited, and they seem like they're super excited, so <laughs> I think that it's just a win-win for yeah. everyone. I think they're pretty good. I don't think like, I mean, for them to like go through like everything that they've gone through, mm -hmm. apparently, like and like with like this album and everything, mm -hmm. I think they've come out stronger on like the other end, and. You know, I think it's like a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Cool. I agree. Yeah. All right, well, we hope for the best for them. Harvey Levin, the host of TMZ, is going to be hosting the new Fox series, Objectified. The series will have a selection of different celebrities who will bring in objects that they have collected over their life and say why those objects make them who they are today. They will tell their life stories through these different items and say why they are important. Objectification is a sensitive topic in today's society. So do you feel this show will help promote objectifying people or animals? Um, <coughs> I mean, I don't know. But, um, I mean, I think it's just like, it's, you know, giving celebrities a chance to explain why something without life is of value. It's like, oh, like, this is my grandfather's, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm -hmm. he wanted this for me, so I went out and became a famous singer because he always inspired me. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be more heartwarming stuff. I just think that the premise is doesn't seem as heartwarming, but maybe when we actually see the, sh see the show, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be, it could be better I mean, than what we expect. And even if it's not like heartwarming, it's like, it's kind of almost like a Cribs type thing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no one watched Cribs to be like heartwarmed. It's like, you wanted to see what, oh, yeah, you wanted <laughs> to see like, grills and like Mariah Carey working out on like an elliptical in a oh dress. Oh god, like, I like hope people don't say their grills see. inspire them to be <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. what you want to see. So it's like, the wor what's the worst thing that happens? It's like a funny, weird, dumb show that lasts like a season. Like, I don't know, I, I really don't think I'm it's that deep. Fox picked it up. But yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they had a really good like, you know, screening for it or something. Yeah. Hopefully it all goes well. We learned something new about them and... We will see if it's a good <laughs> show or not. So, coming up, which celeb fashions were a hit and which ones were a miss? All this after the break. Looking for these? You drive buzzed. It could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. up on sex don't give up on birth control either there are more methods than you think find yours at bedsider.org Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. Welcome back. It's now time for our celebrity fashion hit or miss. Let's see what some of our favorite celebs are rocking at the 2017 Grammy Awards. First up, we have Adele and Givenchy. Ah, sexy lady. <laughs> I don't know. That color is great. Maybe it's because, like, when I saw Brave, she was like wearing green and she has red <laughs> hair. But uh, I think that that, like, they complement each other. I don't know. I definitely I think really those, like the color 
goes well with her hair mm -hmm. and everything. It's kind of like the pattern, too. Yes, it's also yeah. a very flattering pattern on her. And um, I just love like that she's always elegant but like trendy, you know? No, yeah. I love that like she's like always like true to like who mm -hmm. she is in a sense. Like you don't see her like walking around in like a bedazzled like jumpsuit. Like, no, working. she's like, always she true to herself. She knows who she is, yeah. she knows what she does. And we like, love her for that. Yeah. I and feel like, like the styles she goes for are very hard to pull off and yeah. she does such yes. an amazing job. Or it could age people age so yeah, much and it that. doesn't because the bright color that she wears with in this dress just like totally makes it appropriate yeah, yeah. for her I age. Love this. I think she looks great. Yeah. I also really? love her hair up. I think that like the pattern starting so high up on her neckline would um, would distract if it was it would distract away from the dress if her hair yeah. was down. Mm -hmm. So I love that it's up. I love that it's like wispy and young and she's just so pretty and elegant. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, love it. And so truly talented at the Grammy Awards. Oh <laughs> my goodness, crazy. Next up is Jennifer Lopez rocking a lilac Ralph and Russo gown. I like it. I don't know. I feel um, like it's a good color. It's a choice. It's oh, a choice. I, I, I don't <laughs> like like the big bow, but I get that you need something kind of of substance on this dress. Otherwise, it's just a plain cut out. Gorgeous. Like it fits her. She could wear you know anything. It's J Lo. But I mean, I, I feel like it needed some depth. But the way that this sheer kind of like thing on her neck gives yeah, it depth no. isn't the way I would want to see it. No, yeah. I feel like Maybe she definitely like could have done like a cool like mm -hmm. hairstyle to definitely shine. or belt or accessories or yeah. you know a shoe that pops out a lot more. Even though I do think that shoe is beautiful, I feel like there could have been other ways to kind of stand out besides that. In my opinion, this horrendous also just doesn't like <laughs> neck bow. <laughs> Horrendous is right, it's like horrendous. horrible. But like I dress just, gorgeous, horrendous neck bow. She looks like like a, pa a Christmas package. Yeah, like, I just like no. I don't want to unwrap her. But like it almost to me like it doesn't look like a J Lo dress. Like you know what I mean? I like yeah, like it has like that look nice like, tight like, like what we just said about Adele. Like how she sticks true to who she is and she knows her brand and everything like that. Like Adele knows like what to wear, like what what looks good on her. And mm. I I usually always think J Lo does too. And like this just doesn't look like a J Lo dress to me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, I mean I get that she was doing something different, but also J Lo is she does things sexy. You know, she's yeah. a sex symbol, and I feel like. You know, it's not weird that she's wearing a dress with such a low cutout, no, such a high, no. you know, leg cutout. It's just, it's just definitely not her. No, you're yeah, right. It's just right. not her. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. But I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> if that she means looks, anything. Her, her skin looks. Better. Yeah, and her skin is like skin, skin sun kiss. It's like amazing, <laughs> amazing. Here is Lady Gaga in a black two-piece outfit by Alex Ulinchny. Okay, okay, okay. She you know what? It, She's out there. It's mm -hmm. Gaga. Like with her fashion <clears throat> and her performing, she tends to be out there. So in a weird way, I know this sounds crazy, that's almost like a reserved look for her on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. You know, not she's not holding a not, big thing. <laughs> she's not dressed in meat, is what I'm basically <laughs> saying. Coming in on and an egg. I love the glasses. She sang rock and roll that night, you know, mm. and so I feel like it just kind of goes. It's just like a very rock and roll look. Yeah. And like I'm happy she that she dressed like that way. Full out for it too. Some people try and only go mm -hmm. like halfway where she's like, I'm gonna do the whole like no, chain. She did it. No, yeah. Nice sleeve. Also, like, like she was like at the Super Bowl like, when she got when she performed or whatever, she was body shamed like really bad. Like, yeah. And you know so what? I so do. come out mm -hmm. on the red carpet like a week after that with literally your entire chest out. <laughs> like I have to give her props. It's kind of like, you know what? You do you, I'm going to do me. This is yeah. how I like to dress. I'm confident and comfortable with myself, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. And um, it just screams like body positivity, yeah. even with all that harsh feedback that she Absolutely. had after the Super Bowl. And like, I, I just feel like that's such a, that's that right there is such a strong message. Yeah, no, I love it. It, it really is. And, um, and it's a cool outfit. Yeah, I like it. Like <laughs> the hair, like the lipstick. Love Gaga, big Gaga fan. <laughs> Next up is Katy Perry in a feather sequins dress. Oh my god. <laughs> that is I hate awful. that. That hair is thirsty. That's horrendous. The thing is, like, That's one, horrendous. it's not good either way, but then if you're gonna, like, it's just two separate dresses that are oh both god. awful. Oh god, both I hate. But if like, she kept the top bad. and kept it short with, like, nice strappy with black heels or something like that, mm -hmm. yeah, like high strappy black heels, I feel like it could have definitely worked. 
if it was just the top like, part and like a short dress. But yeah. let's just talk. I like, hate the bottom. But her hair. That's a wig. It's she, a, yeah, no, it's not. She, yes, it well, is. Well, that wig is thirsty. She wore, it's a shaking guy. Yeah, she wore a wig because she did go blonde shortly after this, but it wasn't ready yet. Like she was still going through the phases of did turning from jet black City? to blonde. I, I could ask her. I'll text her. If, yeah, can you, you know want me? I feel like out of all the bad though, like her makeup looks good and like there could have been good there. Oh yeah, but she's oh, flawless. I, I just don't think this adds to it. I think it takes away from how naturally beautiful she is. Definitely. And I hate the, I hate it. Worst comes to worst, she could always <laughs> just cut it. the bottom part off and put it by her tub and have a nice new bathroom rug, so. Oh, uh, or that would make like a nice, like um, <coughs> she makes like throw pillows out of it. <coughs> That'd be pretty. Be I'm looking for something pillow. like that for my room. All right, next up we have Rihanna in an Armani crop top. <coughs> oh God, love it. It's like a Taylor Swift, but way better in my opinion. I yeah. think she I looks like, like Halloween, like pumpkin, I don't know. Really? I, I feel just like, like for Rihanna, like she's, you know, she's another um, icon in the fashion industry where she just kind of takes the she kind of takes the reins and does whatever the heck she pleases mm -hmm. you know we've seen her literally naked in nothing but a sheer gown <laughs> and I feel like this okay this is a little bit more reserved for Rihanna <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like it because it's like elegant mm -hmm. it, it, it's like a ball gown but it's like styled fun. for Rihanna mm -hmm. and it's fun and I feel like it works on her because of who she is you know? I know, yeah. Rihanna could wear anything. Yeah, and the design I is funky, love it. the fabric is funky. It's just, I don't know, it's I fun. just, there's like nothing I like about it at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I, I would know. never wear it. I could never pull that off, but like, like even like you the go, accessories, girl. like, I don't know. There's just, I don't know, not feeling it, but. What about her hair and makeup? I think the makeup looks good. I think with such an extravagant dress, with her hair so extravagant as well, I feel like, I don't know what I would put in place because I feel like yeah. it needs to be down, but. Yeah, I feel like down makes it more casual because that's like a big dress, you know? So I feel like yeah. if it was up, it would have been too yeah. like ball gown-y vibe, even though it doesn't look like your traditional <laughs> ball gown. But um, yeah. I feel like keeping it down adds to the funness of the look. No, I actually feel really like it. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Here's Laverne Cox in a one-shouldered cutout gown. Okay, now that is amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. No, I love it. I wish I had her body, honestly. <laughs> she looks so good. I love it. It fits well. I love the cutouts because I think it's like fun and not like it's too overbearing. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. I like that she kept the shoe simple because, and the accessory simple because the dress is so has so much going on with the size. It's an you know? accessory in itself. Yes, that, like, exactly. Yeah. That you don't need anything else except the dress. Mm -hmm. She played it really well. And the hair looks good too. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. just I don't know. I like everything about it, and I like how like the shoe, like how it's like like the dress is like laced up the sides or whatever, and then how like she has like like the ankle strap yeah, around the shoe. Like too. I don't know. I just like like that. <laughs> I think it's me a good too. little touch. I think that would have those shoes would have been great on Katy Perry. With if just she her kept the top, top part <laughs> and not the bottom, but okay. And her thirsty wig. <laughs> Lastly, here's the lovely Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. They're great. They just I'm just love a each fan other of them. Spaghetti. Yeah, That's I'm like just such do. a fan of them. Um, I love her outfit, and I yeah. love after the Super Bowl with the whole nip slip thing, and she's like, I don't care, I'm a supermodel. <laughs> like, who are you? You know. Literally. And I feel like this just further demonstrates her attitude about like, I am who I am. I dress mm -hmm. how I want to dress, and I do mm -hmm. what I want. Yeah. And um, and like John's just he, always looking good next to I her. like how he did like a colorful shirt since they're mm -hmm. both wearing like black just to like Me give too. that little pop. Like one of them needed a color and I feel like I like it on John. <laughs> I like that he's wearing the pink and she's not wearing the pink lip. Like it looks good. Mm -hmm. They're just such a great couple. All right, well, that's all the time we have for tonight. So be sure to check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash oentertainment. Until next time, I'm Daniel Rung. I'm Carrie Ann Boundless. And I'm Alexandra Melendez. Have a great night, everyone.